Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. Good afternoon. I hope everybody's doing good today. So I'm here with the voiceover. And I wanted to talk about the stripper incident that went viral yesterday on social media. So this entire situation is crazy. I want to go ahead and break this down, tell y'all the backstory. So what happened is that basically yesterday I was sent a video by one of my friends on Facebook about a stripper literally falling. I didn't know how many feet she had fell from, but she fell and the girl was a champ. She kept right on twerking. So I posted on Instagram and I basically titled it, if at first you don't succeed, twerk, twerk again. So, you know, because to me, she just looked like a trooper. Well, then later on, one of my tea sippers who I guess knew about the stripper, knew her, um, basically came on there and she posted. She said she actually ended up with a broken jaw, chipped tooth and stitches on her chin. So then to that, I replied, I said, well, damn, I'm glad she survived. The fact that she kept on twerking with the broken jaw is amazing. And so this caused a lot of conversation on social media. And shout out to Hollywood Unlocked for basically reposting the video and crediting me, okay? Because a lot of these bigger blogs, they will take from smaller, you know, Instagrammers and stuff like that, and they don't say anything. So shout out to y'all for crediting me and, and things like that. So as I got the research in the story... I found out that the stripper's name was Gina Sky and that basically, you know, she miscalculated her timing and that she actually fell from 15 feet in the air. So that is really scary. And it's a miracle that, you know, that's all she got was just a broken jaw and her tooth chipping because she honestly could have died. The video is very, very scary. And so um, there was a lot of conversation that people were having with her on Twitter. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys um, some of the dialogue that she had posted on Twitter last night. She says, I wasn't fucked up. I do the same tricks every night. I simply messed up this time around. That was the result. The end. Then she also says, as for everyone else, I appreciate the love and concern. It means a lot. Thank you. And then she says, literally have to get surgery tomorrow. So please, if you don't have anything nice to say, leave me alone. And she says, yes, I fell off the pole. Yes, I fractured my jaw. No, I'm not fucking okay. There's absolutely nothing funny about this situation. This is the worst pain that I've ever felt. I wouldn't wish this upon anyone. So after she posted that, then she went on to retweet one of her fans who said that she did an amazing job. So the girl says, the girl in this video, oh, Gina, was literally so good. I loved every part of her performance. Accidents happen and she got a broken job because of the fall. Don't come here being negative and saying mean comments. Y'all go be mean to your mama instead. So she had retweeted her and she basically said, thank you so much. It means a lot. Then she proceeded to post a GoFundMe that one of her friends started for her named Ayana. And um, so she posted that and then she went on to say this. I will be posting updates of my progress on here and on my Instagram. And as soon as I'm healed and clear to work again, I will be right back at XTS Cabaret in Dallas, Texas, putting on the same show. So again, it goes back to my original tweet. If at first you don't succeed, twerk, twerk again. <laughs> And then she goes on to say, I wish I could individually respond to each person, but my phone has been flooded all day. So thank you to everyone who reached out and continues to do so. Your guys's kind words are so helpful and uplifting. I can't say thank you enough. She says, I only have a cash app. She says the cash app name. Then she says, and the GoFundMe that my best friend made for me. I'm not asking for money, but I'm very grateful that so many people want to help. It truly means the world to me. Thank you. And then she then proceeded to basically go on to Instagram and explain the situation as to what happened. So I'm going to go ahead and play that for you guys here. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Um, so I didn't want to have to do this. Um, originally, I didn't plan on posting about this situation at all. Um, but obviously, the video has gone viral and I'm getting... A lot of messages asking me if I'm okay and like all this stuff so I decided I'd update everybody and let everyone know what's going on um, 
I pretty much broke my jaw and I have to have surgery on it tomorrow. I um, broke some teeth and I got a sprained ankle, but aside from, oh, and I got some stitches, but aside from that, like I'm good. I, I have no broken limbs. I walked away myself. I got up right after it happened, um, and I'm just really overwhelmed by all the messages and everything, and I'm so thankful, though, for all the positive messages I've been getting and all the love, and it really means a lot, so that's why I decided to post this video just to say thank you and just let you guys know that I am having a hard time, but I am okay. And I'm going to be okay. Um, it's just a really um, humbling experience to just be alive, you know. I'm really thankful for that. And that's just what's most important to me at this very moment is that I have my life. And that even with my injury to my face, it still could have been a lot worse. So thank you guys. Um, I really appreciate it. And I didn't want to cry, but I can't make this video without crying. So um, I just ask that, you know, if, if I don't respond to you right away, like if I know you personally, just please don't take that offensively right now. It's just my phone's going crazy and it's just a lot, but I'm okay. And I just wanted to let everybody know that I'm good. So thank you guys. And I appreciate it. All right. So you guys just saw that video. Um, so the whole situation is sad and you can tell it's definitely taking a toll on her. That is scary, you know, to fall that far in the air. Like that's some shit that nightmares are made of, you know what I'm saying? Um, so her GoFundMe has definitely exploded. Her Instagram following has definitely exploded because yesterday she had like 20,000 followers. She has a lot more followers now. But I hope that this situation leads to some important dialogue. Now, you guys know I have absolutely no problem with strippers. You know what I'm saying? We talked about the blind stripper on here. Blind this and blind that and what I am and what I'm not. You know, gave her her props. Y'all have seen me at strip clubs. I've kicked it at Magic City, you know, with um other YouTubers and stuff like that. I've kicked it at the Blue Flame. I've been to quite a few strip clubs, okay? I like going to strip clubs when I'm on vacation in different cities and having fun. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no insecure type chick. I'll go spend money. You know, I like to support single mothers, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but um, this entire situation is crazy. And I've noticed over the years of, you know, going to different strip clubs and stuff like that, that a lot of the strip clubs and a lot of the strippers are doing more and more riskier stunts. OK, not all of these strip clubs have these huge aerial shows, but they're starting to become more popular. This particular club that she's at is in Dallas, Texas. I believe they do have an aerial strip club. They have one in Atlanta. But for the most part, places like the Blue Flame, Magic City, they're regular clubs. Everybody's on just a regular stage. There's a regular size pole, things like that. And you can have whatever feelings you want to have about strippers and people who work in the, you know, so-called sex industry. You can have a negative opinion of them. But at the end of the day, people go to these clubs and people spend thousands of dollars. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's it's a job like any other job. Even if it's not for you or you feel like it's demeaning, that you're definitely entitled to your opinion. But to me, these are people who are putting in work. They're putting their bodies at risk. And it's not easy, honey. Because I took a strip pole class like probably like five, six years ago and it took such a toll on my body I had to call out to work the next day like those girls put in work those poles it's not easy to like wrap your body around and do all these tricks so honey I tip my hat to them because they put in work but what I do want to say is that this is not the first time that a stripper has fallen this is just the first time that it's gone really viral because it was filmed. But this happens to a lot of strippers all around the country. If you guys remember several years ago, Miami Tip, who's now on I'm um, Living Hip Hop Miami, she took a 35 foot fall, fractured her face, her whole left side of her body. She could have died. So, I mean, it's it's really real out here. Y'all go ahead and check out this clip of Miami Tip talking about her fall throwing money or whatever so they was like tip is boring we want to throw you on stage they put me on stage three i never go on stage three but that's where the people were so i rushed i grabbed two shots i only drunk one i rushed upstairs tried to throw on some makeup or whatever and they were rushing me so they was like let's go let's go let's go i ran downstairs went on stage but everything about that day and that night was like 
don't go. Everything. Like, I felt, and I, I felt it. So I get on stage. I climb to the top. I, I used to go on the beam. Not, I wasn't on the pole. I was on the beam, which is like a, a ledge that's like higher now, than the pole. Now, how high is that? Like, so people it's have an 35 idea. 35 feet. What? 35 feet. Oh, my God. Yeah. So I was swinging on the beam and trying to get back to the pole, and I must have miscalculated where I was at, and I fell straight from the top to the bottom but they said a customer was sitting there like and he tried to catch me but me bouncing off his shoulder kind of broke my fall but I still landed on the left side of my body so like the left side of my face is all reconstructed the whole left side I have like metal here um there's no scars on my face one eye is like uneven you can't really tell because they did the doctors did a really good job but I lost a kidney um I fractured my lumbar my left knee I forgot what I fractured in there, but I have like a lot of pain in my knee all the time and it, it comes from the fall. All right, so you guys just saw what Miami Tip had to say. So I think at this point, a lot of women in the strip club industry, I believe, you know, they need to be smart and the strip clubs need to step up. I'm all for, you know, people doing tricks and, you know, climbing up poles and stuff like that. But when you got people climbing up ceilings that are 15 feet high, 35 feet high, and there's no harness on them, they're putting themselves at risk. Because let's keep it real. She's saying that she wasn't high and drunk, but a lot of strippers do have to pop pills and drink and everything else to be able to relax and get on stage and leave that anxiety behind them. So even though she may have not been, there's some who are. And if you're not in a clear frame of mind, mistakes can happen. You know, I don't think anybody has died yet from falling off of these ceilings, but she really could have died. A 15 foot fall, that's no joke. A 35 foot fall, Miami Tip is lucky that she's still here. You know, so I think that there needs to be some safety precautions. I'm not saying bring a bunch of netting on the stage because that wouldn't be attractive. But there's going to have to be some safety precautions. Maybe put harnesses on these women in the event that there's a mistake. I say it makes sense to be safe rather than sorry, okay? Because a lot of these women, they're testing this stuff out. They're practicing. You know, they're just doing stuff as they go. These are not trained acrobats. These women don't work for Cirque du Soleil. So, you know, women have to really think twice about this. Like, you can die from a fall like this. You know, and a lot of these women are in the strip club industry. They're stripping because they're trying to make ends meet. They're trying to take care of their families. So I'll never judge anybody for how they get their money. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to take care of their families. But you need to ask yourself, are these stunts worth it? Because if she would have died on that stage... Who would be there to take care of her babies? So that's my thing. You know, I want a lot of women to think. I'm not saying leave the strip club industry and, you know, go work a nine to five. That's not what I'm preaching. But what I'm saying is you need to really think twice about doing these aerial stunts and tricks. Now, I see a lot of people, you know, donating to her GoFundMe money. But I know as independent contractors, a lot of times when things happen, the club is supposed to step up and pay these bills and help these women out. So that way they don't face a potential lawsuit. But I understand, you know, the club may not have the money right there and then to give them until everything is sorted out. And if they sue them, that can take months where she needs to get her jaw and everything repaired right now. So I get, you know, the point of the GoFundMe money. But this is really scary. And I think a lot of clubs who are out here promoting these aerial acts, they need to take it more seriously. There's even a video at King of Diamonds in Miami because they also have those aerial acts. And you can hear the DJ, you know, the person who's hosting says, if she falls, she's dead, then a motherfucker. It's like, bro, like this is not a joke. These women are risking their lives. <laughs> Watch this shit.
And yes, you can say, well, that's on these women. They need to sit their ass down, but whatever. These women are literally risking their lives. It's not a joke. This woman is on the ceiling, you know, 30 something feet in the air. I believe this is the same club where Miami Tip had her accident. And so there needs to be more compassion and there needs to be more safety measures because a lot of these clubs, a lot of these girls, they go from state to state. So these this may not even be their home club. So a lot of them go from state to state. There's no insurance and, and things like that that cover, you know, women in the they call it the sex industry. I don't want to call it that, but that's what some people refer it to. So there's really no insurance. So imagine you're going to King of Diamond as a stripper to go work for the weekend because you can make more money there because it might be Super Bowl weekend or, you know, some rapper's party as opposed to you know stripping in your own city and you get hurt you break your hip you bust your leg there's no insurance for you and now you're out of town in a place where no family's there with you you're hurt you're having to recover and you have no money for medical expenses you know so this is some of the stuff that really does affect strippers so I think a lot of these women need to be smart and need to really ask themselves, is it worth it to climb up there? Because if this is the attitude that the club has and the, and the DJ has that if you fall, you did then a motherfucker, I'm sorry, I'm not risking my life for that type of environment. I'm just not going to do it. So I think that there needs to be some safety measures in place. One. And I think two, a lot of these women need to ask themselves, is it worth it to climb up there? If there's, if those safety measures are not in place. And then three, I think maybe some of these clubs, especially if these are regular, girls who work there who are in those cities should offer some type of health insurance and some health benefits you know because the strip club industry is big but then they have that shady underbelly so you know it's a lot of nuances to this and I just hope it causes a good discussion I'm glad that Gina Sky is okay you know she's definitely a trooper and the fact that she kept on twerking and she tried to act like it was no big deal I mean she was even upside down that just shows you how much resilience that she had that was that adrenaline you know still kicking in and the fact that the other stripper was there and watched her fall and didn't even move did just sat there and watched her fall didn't check on her that was crazy you know that was just really scary but I'm really tired of women risking themselves you know for the almighty dollar and for the attention of men we recently talked about the Jamaican dancer Bumpa who died doing a routine A girl was supposed to jump over her, you know, between her legs and the girl ended up landing on her and she broke her neck. This was in the club in front of everyone. So a lot of women are out here doing a lot of risky things and putting themselves at risk for just trying to get money and trying to feed their families. And at this point, we need to talk about this. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want anybody, you know, dying from a fall or dying from a dance. You know, and the only thing they're trying to do is take care of their families. It should never be that serious. So there needs to be a lot more measures in place because we have a lot of people out here doing anything to try and get some money. But when I look at the stage, I'm not even seeing no money on the stage. I'm not even seeing anything being thrown. And these women are doing whole aerial acts. That stage ain't even packed with no dollars. Not saying that they have to do any of this stuff, but the fact that they're doing it and it's bringing in people into these clubs and these clubs are making money and getting notoriety because of these tricks and these aerial acts that these women are risking their lives to do. Treat it better. They should be safety measures and they should be possibly health insurance. You know, but those are the conversations that people don't really want to have. So once again, I'm so happy that Gina Sky is okay, and, you know, she made it through that. But that is really scary, and that's very, very traumatic, and I wish her the best. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. And last but not least, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that we can be done with the notification squad. How do you guys feel about this entire situation? And do you agree with me that there should be some safety measures put into place you know i'm saying to help these women who are doing these aerial acts because this is not the first time somebody has fallen and you know it could have led to tragedy so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces